Hello, welcome back to another HW Bit Productions video. Today I'm doing Lego Star Wars 2022 for Bad Bats uh, Justifier, Cad Bane's Justifier. And this is a really large set. It's, it's larger than the Legend Millennium Falcon. And it's larger than the Imperial Light Cruiser as well. And something special about this set is I got this in Legoland Windsor last year. So it's kind of cool that I came from Legoland. So it, travel quite a long distance so it's quite cool that I came from Legoland and it comes with five minifigures so our first minifigure is um, Toto 360 here and he has good printing around he's had the size of the Lego BD1 and Dio and uh, Grogu so he looks um, really good like that next we have a um, brand new Cad Bane, and he looks really good. He has his pistols, the nice uh, leg printing, torso printing, oh, back pr back printing. He has the breathing tube thing. He has his hat. What a what's different compared to the old ones from 2010. And he has a good face print. No back print of course. I mean no double side face obviously. And he looks uh, really good. Next we have um, our first ever Lego Omega. She has uh, she's in handcuffs. You can pull her hair off to get a double sided face, and um, that looks good. She has nice printing, and she has these sort of legs representing that she's a small character. And if you have the Bad Bat shuttle and this, you have the um, whole um, uh, Bad Bat group. So that is good. And next minifigure is Hunter. He has his knife there, all the good printing there. This is the same one from the Bad Bat Subtle. He has his backpack printing on there. Then the helmet's the same as well. Then he has his double sided face as well. And, uh, there is, yeah, there is a hairpiece for this, but I keep the helmet on because it does look a lot better with the helmet. So he is a um, good minifigure. Then our last minifigure is uh, Fennec Sand. She is the same one from the Light Cruiser and the um, Boba Fett's throne room, but this time she has a pistol and she has the briefcase with the um, money in it. There is no money in it, but here. Yeah. And she has a double-sided face and all the arm printing looks good and the helmet is still really good. Yeah, so that's her minifigure. It's a good minifigure selection. Now let's get on to the set itself. So if I pull over here, we have the um, cans here, and these can move, they're not meant to move like that. Then you have a spring load suit here, and if I just fire like that, there it is. And that's on both sides. So both sides of this are symmetrical, if you're curious. And if I just move more here, ooh, we can see the greebling there. Ooh. I think I'm, I'm going to uh, pick up a camera, it's, it's, it's a lot easier. So here, you can lift, well, lift this up, you have a spare spring load suitor and you can see the mechanism in here. Then you can lift this up, you can see a spring load suitor in there as well and you can see the mechanism again. And that mechanism all links up to this here and it's in there to lift up the landing gear with which you can see here and so both sides are the same like that and as you can tell it is quite large like uh, if you compare it to something like that the imperial light cruiser it does look a, a lot bigger and yeah and then here we have the in front we have a sticker there and the same stickers on the other side as well then we have the stickers there, and they their stickers on glass. So um, if uh, you um, you could say um, get fingerprints of them, they look really bad if you misaligned them. They look really bad. Then we have more stickers there, more stickers, and we have the um, detail and everything. That well, looks all really good. Now I will show you the um, was it the um. A mechanism for the hammer to lift up so as you can see also there's landing gear here so if you 
pick it up by the cockpit and if you just oh, oh, let me do that again it's a bit hard to sometimes you just do that as you can see it's lifting up with landing gear and now it is a it's in its um, flying mode as you can see and the landing gear has gone up and that does look really good in my opinion and yeah I, I do actually display it in its um, flying mode because it, it fits on myself more actually yeah and if I just um, flip this around uh, there is a um, what is it a um, bit what well, opens up here and there is some uh, there's something inside it, so if I just pull it out, oh, there is some treasure in it with some imperial stickers on it, which looks really good. Yeah, and we'll just get the camera straight again. Oh, and if I just spin this around again. We have uh, the engines rather good, and then there is a legal building technique because there's pieces wedged in between studs, which is considered to be a legal building technique. Naughty Lego of uh, using that, <laughs> yeah. And if I just play it back in its landing mode to show you the last bit, the interior. So that um. Uh, like that. If I just bring the camera around here, you can lift this off here. You have um, stickers there, and that all comes off. And you can lift this up, and there's a gel sound there, which is a bright red bit. Red bright. A uh, bright red piece, which is good. And there's the gel cell where Omega goes. So that looks good. Let me just slide that back in. Then we have the um, chair for cabane. We have some crazy for lightsaber hilt, some fable detonators, and then there's the clips for his blasters. And we put the um, top back on there. Yeah, and I would say that is all of the LEGO Star Wars 2022 uh, Cab Bane's Justifier. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you enjoyed, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.